There will be time. There will be time to prepare a face, to meet the faces that you meet. Every morning, while I shower, while I dress, while I layer on my makeup, we all wear masks. I am a woman, a mother, a daughter, a sister, a friend, a teacher. Hi, I'm Betty. Hello, I'm Liz. Good morning, I'm Ms. Vietnamese. You can call me Ms. Friday. <laughs> My name is Elizabeth Susan Vietnamese. I teach high school literature, and I began teaching when I was 24. My seniors were 18 or 19. I was barely out of college, a blink away from high school. So I quickly learned how to don a mask every morning or risk being eaten alive. I was serious. I was strict. I was inflexible. I was not fun. I hid my insecurities. I hid my inexperience. I hid my fear of public speaking. Did I tell you I teach teenagers? I remember my high school years. They were full of drama. Who was dating whom? Who broke up with whom? Who was part of which group? Were you a jock or were you a cheerleader? Were you a nerd or were you someone who loved to party? There were those who were here temporarily and those who were here and those who didn't quite fit in. I teach high school seniors, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. And after 16 years of teacher, I come to believe that teenagers wear the most masks of all. Who are you? To your friends? To your family? To your different teachers? To your classmates? We all wear masks. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are. Whether you're a boy or a girl, whether you're young, or old. And teenagers today have one added layer to their masks. Who are you online? I separated a little over a year ago, and this summer my sister encouraged me to wade into the dating pool. She suggested I download an app, a dating app. After all, she met her husband online, and they're living happily ever after. So I did. One day by the pool, I downloaded this app. It took me about a day or two to, um, to create my profile, to create an account. But then I faced the most daunting task of all. Who would I portray? What pictures would I choose? How would I describe myself? And so writing my dating profile was harder than writing my master's thesis. <laughs> Let's be real. I'm a single mom, I'm not as young as I once was, and I'm a teacher. But I did it, and so this is what I came up with. I'm an avid reader and traveler, I enjoy going out in quiet evenings at home, I love teaching and have an active daughter. You'd think that with a master's in creative writing and English, this would have been, it would have been an easier task, and this would have been more eloquent and less cliche. <laughs> Language is powerful. I know, I teach it to my students all the time. And so, sorry, but your laughter is making me nervous. <laughs> but the words you choose are powerful. The words you choose can be misinterpreted. The words you choose can cause irreparable damage, and the words you choose cannot be taken back. Even if WhatsApp lets you delete messages, even if you're able to edit your posts online, it's easier to communicate digitally. You can draft and redraft, you can erase and repeat. So eventually I found the right words and I started chatting with someone. Luckily for me, I have a best friend who has my, my best interests at heart. 
So she did some Googling and some Facebook stalking and voila, I was dating someone who was a right wing extremist supporter. Someone who could easily hide behind a mask. I quickly gave up on that endeavor. But that got me thinking. Being a teenager today is so much harder than back in my day. I only had to worry about mask-to-face interactions with my teachers, with my family, with my friends. But you, you have to worry about those and those online. How many accounts do you have of Instagram, of Twitter, on Snapchat? Who do you follow? Who follows you? The answer to these questions will reveal so much of who you are. They will paint a picture of your online masks. To post or not to post, that is a question. Think about all the times that you've held your phone and you scroll through your online feed. You come across a post and you decide, do I like it or do I share it with others? You took a picture and you need to decide, do I post it or I don't? But you do. And so now you need to think, what hashtag, what caption? Do I tag someone? But that's not it. Who's going to see it? How will they react? What will they think of me? It is a self-centered world. But this constant deliberation of whether to post or not can actually result in detrimental levels of anxiety, especially if you're trying to figure out who you are. Research done on the links between identity and personality have actually shown in adolescence that teenage years are key to testing and exploring different beliefs ideas, behaviors, ideally culminating in a cohesive sense of self. Ideally. What if you see a post of your friends at a cafe without you? What if you see a post by your best friend with their significant other and you just broke up with yours? How do you feel? So you post positive affirmations to hide your depression. You post a smiling selfie to hide your insecurities. You post a group selfie to hide your loneliness. We all wear masks. But as we think about those around us, as we observe those and encounter online personas, we need to stop and think. Who is behind that mask? Perhaps it's someone who's depressed. Perhaps it's someone who's going through unimaginable difficulties. Perhaps it's someone who's pretending everything is okay. We need to stop and think, who's behind that mask? We over masked to fit in, but what if we didn't? What if you and I could be our pure selves our pure selves, like those moments when we're alone with our thoughts, late at night, early in the morning, sitting on the toilet. What if we didn't have to wear masks at all? Imagine that world. Imagine a world where you could come to school wearing your emotions on your sleeves. Imagine a world where your eyes could truly be the windows to your soul. When Wesley and meet, you and will know me a little better. When next we meet, who will you be? What's behind your masks? We all wear masks. What if we didn't?